We have been working on unmanned systems and autonomous navigation for over a decade. In the last five, six years, they have found some real-world applications. People are talking about using drones for civilian applications, from agriculture to surveillance to monitoring. When you hear about driverless cars, that's another important application of unmanned systems. Recently, we identified the most important thing to make this uh, useful is to reduce the hazard and the danger that it imposes on civilians, of course. What we are interested in is developing a robust system that is capable of detecting that failure and then apply countermeasurements that will allow the quadrotor to reach its goal or land safely without crashing. My area of interest fans out from artificial intelligence into machine perception. It's the capability of a computer or embedded system to understand the environment, analyze and interpret the environment in a very similar way that we humans do. Every intelligent or unmanned system needs to make decisions without the intervention of a human controller. To make that happen, it needs to have this particular kind of perception. My research in the lab is about monitoring pipelines and we are trying to find the algorithm with extra sensor that the quadrotor have to monitor the pipelines and do the task precisely. Because we are developing a new control algorithm, it is really hard to test those algorithms in outdoor flying quadrotor because those algorithms are still in developing phase. What we have done is we have designed and built a three degree of freedom test bed that allow us to test those control algorithm before we take it in actual flight. We have been working with different companies, both local and out of province and out of country. They sometimes come to us with certain problem and we try to find a solution for them. And in this way, we find how we can contribute to the bigger industry in unmanned systems.